Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're back for some more standard action. Today we're playing Teamer Nexus. Now this is a deck we played before. Uh, I believe it was actually the first deck we played for the uh, Ravnica Allegiance version. So we're going to make a couple changes to this list though. So of course the big change so far is Tamio Collector of Tales. She's going to be pretty good to be able to rebuy some of the cards we play. Of course, Wilderness Reclamation, Search for Iskanta, Growth Spiral, Sabotage, niv Mizzets, Nexus of Fate, Expansion Explosion, the usual suspects. Sideboard, of course, playing some Strokes, Negates, some Fiery Cannonades, Crushing Canopies, Carnage Tyrant, and Star of Extinction. Not much has changed, again, mostly just the Tamio. Um, yeah, so... The only cards I'm still kind of iffy on is the Mission Briefing. I liked it last time because it felt... At worst, it was a Scry 2, basically. Um, but at best, it was like another Growth Spiral or another Lava Coil or extra Counter Spells or extra Expansions. So... We, uh... Actually, you know what? Hmm... Let's see. Brawlstorm Conduit? Hmm. <laughs> no, let's not. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to get. Try that now. I was going to. I was thinking maybe Storm Conduit, try it in there. On the off chance we get expansion combo. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, let's cut to the Carnage Tyrants. Put New Mizzet over in the sideboard for the control matchups. Bring in two Ralph Storm Conduits, and let's try this. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and try this for the beginning. Oh, of course, traditional ranked. Oh, oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Whoopsie, oh, hold on. All right, sorry about that, I got a little too quick with the clicking, uh, play so anyway we'll try it with the rouse if we decide we don't like it we'll go ahead and switch over to um, back to the niv mizzets in the main board and carnage tyrants in the sideboard um not sure i mean the thing that was weird before was carnage tyrant was also really good against green black because it was bigger than a good portion of their creatures and of course it was good against opposing carnage tyrants that was a big reason i really liked it so, we'll see, though. We'll see. Hmm. Not sure if Ral is how good it's going to be or any of that, but we're going to try it. I'm looking forward to it. This hand, however, not going to be a keeper. All right, this one is better. We really are hoping to get some kind of... Unfortunately, Tamio, as much as I like you, we already have enough expensive stuff. Alright, so Esper Control, that's going to be a little awkward. Oof. Alright, well, so we're shocking this in because if they go to Thought Erasure us or something like that, I want to expansion it. Yes. Thank you, I think I will. And uh, this is awkward. Okay. Um, they're gonna take our sabotage. So I think I think we gotta take our their blood fast so we can kind of fight them. Yeah, we'll take blood fast. Get rid of Nexus. Just Nexus shuffles back in. Theirs resolves. Takes our sabotage. Oh, they took reclamation. Okay. All right. Well. We are just going to counter their Thought Erasure coming down next turn. Yep. Lava Coil is a dead card in this matchup. 
Um, yeah, let's shock this into play tapped and pass. So here's the problem. We're out of gas and they're missing lands. Oof, that's a problem. Alright, well. Eesh. Alright, we're... Yeah, let's just do this as a scry too, I guess. I don't even know what we're looking for. I guess... I guess Willard's Reclamation at least... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I guess at least Willard... I guess Wilderness Reclamation at least does a little bit here. Yeah, it's fairy. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Yep. Yep. Chemist Insight. Play a land, pass the turn, can't do anything. Yep. 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 All right, well. Nothing we can do about that, so let's just go ahead and kill that thing. Chemist Insight discarding a Nexus of Fate, I guess. Yeah, play the land and let's pass. Again, not like we can actually do anything about what they have on the table. Yep, make a token. Yep, cast instant sorcery or instance or sorcery's instant speed. Yep. Counter me so we can concede. No. Alright, well. I mean to be fair, it's not like it actually does anything. It's just a expensive explore. Yep, inside, draw me some cards. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. We still just can't pressure these cards. Yeah. There's nothing we can do here. We're dead. We don't have anything that's going to let us get through this. Alright, so, now, we want Starve Extinctions, Niv Mizzets, Negates, and Disable Strokes. Uh, we can cut the Rouse, cut one Tamio, cut an Expansion, cut a Nexus, cut the Lava Coils. I think Tamio is better. You know what? Let's cut the briefings. Bring back in the Rowls. Try it like this. I might be wrong. Maybe this isn't better. Them having counter spells is obviously going to be bad for us. Or not counter spells, I'm sorry. Discard spells. Play first. Hand is great. Unfortunately, this does expose our Star of Extinction to discard. And once they know about it, obviously, it's pretty easy to play around it from there on out. Alright, well, now we may not be exposing it to anything. Although, it was interesting to see they were playing Argyle's Bloodfast. Yep, I don't imagine I'm going to counter this. Doesn't seem like it's worth it to counter it. Tapped, I'll take my turn, and we'll play this, and we'll pass. See what they do. K 
Chemist Insight and a turn here. Nice. Some lands. I mean, lands are not great, but lands are fine. Like, they're not... Nothing really special, but they're okay. Four mana, I imagine we're going to see a... Oh, no. No thought erasure with Veto backup. Okay. Interesting. All right, we're going to play Sulphur Falls here. I'm not going to play niv -Mizzet. Feel the Ruin. Yep. Not a problem. I got you. Let's see what else you got, opponent. Yeah, let's pitch this extra land. Um, oh, so we'd have one, two, three, maybe four. We'd have four mana up. All right, I'm going to pay two life. We're going to play Wilderness Reclamation. If they want to negate, if they want to try to counter it, we will counter it. Oh, Vito's not going to get countered. All right. Well, we still have a Sabotage up. So. Kaya Orzov Usurper. Hmm. Do we care about her? I think we're fine with her resolving. Alright, let's put this taps. Now, let's try to draw another land before we decide to try to blow up a land and nuke the table. Alright, shocking it in. I'm assuming we're getting a Liliana here. Yep. It's a fairy. Time better. So if we go one, two, two, three, yep. Yeah. Okay, so green, blue, grow spiral. Alright, no land. Um, let's negate. Got it. Unmoored ego. Let's sabotage. Bottom of the growth spiral. Nexus of fate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, this doesn't really matter. Pull up the land, kill the Kaya. All right, well, I'm in for it. I'm assuming that purple lighting is because it can't be countered. Regia, resolve. I'll take an island. Let's see what you got, opponent. Trigger, reclamation. All right, we'll shoot you once. That is unfortunate. This does mean they can resolve it to fairy time bender, and we'll be in trouble. But we had no real way of doing anything about that anyway. All right, well, we'll just reclamation. Ral. Let's look at the top card of our library. We don't want the extra land. Resolve it. Nexus. 
shoot you, resolve, all right, alrighty, 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 that felt pretty good, um, I am happy with this being kind of less Nexus combo. Although we got to keep in mind since we do have the Rouse in that we do only have two expansion in the main board, which means we can't really combo with the Rao combo very reasonably. But you know what? we can cut a Wilderness Reclamation actually and bring in I think the other expansion because I also kind of want to use this as a way of a uh, of uh, possibly turning their count their discard spells back on them. Alrighty. Needs a green source, but I think it's fine. Still needs a green source. If we don't get that green source, obviously we're pretty dead. But no, no green source so far. Probably dead. Still no green source. Thank you, green source. Yep, insight and turn's fine. Let's see. Yep. Um, what's chemists? I do understand the fact that this may result in us having to discard. I am also very fine with that. Grow Spiral. Um, let's put that into play. End the turn. With a bunch of counter, with uh, two counter spells up or Grow Spiral. Yep, flashback chemist insight. They still have, they still kept some cast downs in. That's interesting. Do this not have enough stuff to take out against us? I wonder. Thought erasure gets negated. Let's see. And uh, grow spiral here. Enters tapped. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight mana reclamation. Absorb. Yeah, let's expansion. Absorb. Resolve. Countering the original absorb. Red, blue, resolve. Nexus. Take an extra turn. Oh boy. Alright, let's just take an extra turn. Oh, that's annoying. Discard. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Do I want to expansion here at all? No, I think we just let the Wilderness Reclamation resolve and go to their turn. There's not much they can have here that's going to really affect us. Yep. Doing this dance again. Yep, and they're done. All right. There we go. So, obviously a little bit sketchy there, knowing the fact that they have a bunch of discard spells and stuff, and having the Teferi that can basically say we can't play during, uh, their, during 
or when we can't cast a sorcery spell, we can't play during their turn, or can't play spells. But, properly navigated, we're able to win that matchup. Um, I am completely aware of the fact that bringing in Star of Extinction is probably an excessive. <sighs> That's a no lander. I gotta send this one back to, I think. Just no way. But yeah, I, I am aware that bringing in Star of Extinction against him is probably unreasonable, but we saw enough Planeswalkers in game one that I kind of wanted him. And I mean, to be fair, they had Liliana's, they had two Teferi's. You know, and then Kaya's. So, the sand is significantly better. Um, I don't think we're in for that. I think we're just looking for some uh, growth spirals or chemist insight type effects. Awesome. This is definitely a match I, I want to play. Um, I'm assuming they're going to be green-black, which is where the Star of Extinctions are actually for. Ooh. Blue green. It could be anything. It could even be a boat. All right, let's just pass turn here. We really need to draw a land next turn so we can start playing Ral. All right, so they are themselves a Nexus deck of some type. They're probably a Bant Flash list. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was this Bant Flash list I saw earlier today. They could be it. Alternatively, they could also just be a um, Simic Nexus deck with, for some reason, playing Lion or Elves. Yeah, I didn't want to do anything anyway. Mono four drops in our hand. Not countering an insight. All right, this tells me they're probably Simic, Simic Nexus with Lion or Elves. Yep, Resolve the Elf. Yep, Tapped Land. Yep, hit me for one, I'll take one. Land, please. Nope, alright. Well, at least we have double blue here. Yep. And they have nine mana now. Holy crap. Yep. Take two. Hmm. Thank you, fourth land. Um, I'm sure they have a dozen frilled mystics in hand. I'm not. I'm just going to end a turn and try to chemist in sight. The reason we're going to wait till end of turn to chemist inside is because we don't know what they might play during their turn. And if they play a huge crisis, we're going to be very much so incentivized to counter the crisis because we can't deal with it. Turn over here, countering a chemist inside is not out of the realm of... Holy shit, deck. Oh my god, deck. Why are you doing this to me? Alright, we're just going to discard this mission briefing here. Actually, we're going to discard a wilderness reclamation. Screw the will screw the uh, mission briefing. So they're at 11 mana. Yep. Take two. I'm going to Chemist Insight pitching this mission briefing. Oh, Jesus. Come on, deck. Oh, at least. Actually, there is no at least. This is absolutely horrendous. Let's go, Spot. Maybe we'll hit a blue, blue land. Nope, we did not. Let's try it again, I guess. Well, that was a blue land, thankfully. Alright, let's try the search for his content. It's probably going to get countered. 
Yep, here comes a frilled mystic. Yep, I knew it. Yeah. I mean, they've drawn so many cards, they got to be sitting on a ton of frilled mystics here. Not even a question. But they're, I mean, they're obviously some kind of Simic. Yeah, so they're like Simic Nexus with mass manipulation. Or they're Simic Thieves, that's what it's called. They're Simic Thieves, okay. Good to know. Wilderness Reclamation. Sabotage your sabotage. Yep. Uh, bottom, I think. Resolves. Nexus. Um, let's see. So, whenever you cast the next instant or source spell, you may choose new target. Copy it and choose new targets. So, if we go here. So, let's turn to our cards from a graveyard. Pick mission briefing up. Play Ral. Let's copy it. Resolve. Cast it again. Wait, what? Oh. Resolves. Resolves. Trigger you. Resolves. Resolve the first copy. Graveyard both. Um, sure. So that. Resolve the second copy. Graveyard, graveyard. Uh, sure. Grow spiral. Please hit not basic island. Shoot you again. Resolve. Resolve. No island, and that's the end of the turn. <sighs> so we're probably dead now, I'm assuming. I'm assuming you're just sitting on a bunch of mass manipulation type effects. Or a bunch of, like, echoing melody or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's going to be pretty hard to lose the game from here for them. Especially if this lets them pick back up that Sinister Sabotage. Ooh, it can't yet, actually. Scrites, so... <clears throat> and unfortunately, we cannot even really stay in the game this time. Hit. So we gotta hit like chemist insights. Jesus Christ. Right, so they are yeah, so they're just that uh dead. All right, we can't do anything this scries nothing. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I don't know if Mission Briefing was right. I think it was kind of just a last-ditch effort. I knew it would dig us four cards deep. but All right, so negates the Stainful Strokes. Um, Nemizits, trim, I think, down on these guys. Trim on you, trim on you. Technically, you have targets, but... The keyword there is technically you have targets. 
not even that big of a fan of mission briefing here, to be honest. But I think we want mission briefing just because... Because um, it helps us to dig deeper and it can help us find stuff we care about. And I don't know that Lava Coil is necessarily bad, but I just don't think it's where we want to be here. Alright, let's play first. This hand, I mean, it's better than the other hand we had last game, so I'm going to keep it. Honestly, the way this hand's looking, I think I'm going to use Mission Briefing on turn 2 as a... As a kind of um, like Scry 2 card. Yeah, I think I'm going to just because I want to hit my fourth land. It's very possible that's wrong to do it that way, but that's what we're going to use it for here. Wow. Um, actually... Maybe we're okay missing our, our next land drop for a turn or two. Or I guess it wouldn't be a turn or two. It would just be one more turn that we miss a land drop for, for sure. Now, I could be wrong, but I think we're okay with that. Just because putting these into our graveyard would be very painful. But, I could be wrong. Um... I'll let it resolve. This is a creature that can cause us a lot of trouble along down the line. But I still think it's worth it to have up our counter spell next turn. Yep. Elf resolves. Alright, we did draw our fourth land, which does kind of suck because that means if we would have pitched one of these, we would have hit our fourth land. Um... You know, I think I should have tried to Wilderness Reclamation because that's going to incentivize them to either have to um, adapt this or cast a creature. So now they're on a ton of mana. They're going to attack me for four. That's fine. I prefer that over them actually casting a spell. I'm going to chemist insight, Chemister's Insight in a turn. All right, we got land and... All right, so... Do I want to try this? No, I think we sit back a little bit longer. We're at 16. And if, as long as everything goes the way I think it's going to, we're going to get a Chemist and Grow Spiral this turn. So, and if that's the case, yep. And I mean, I can see some merit to countering the gross spiral, but yep. All right, so. Shock you in, play you. Negate. Oh, this is awkward. I'm going to sabotage back. Yep. I figured they had the Frilled Mystic. Yeah, they're gonna negate my. It's important here to counter the sabotage with the Mystic, not the Reclamation, because that would give us a surveil. Yep, negate counters it. Now we're probably in pretty bad shape. Six, seven. Yeah, we're gonna go to three here. Did I know they had Incubation Druid last time in the last game? I think I did actually. I think I did actually know. Yeah, I think I did know. All right, we're just gonna cast this. We're we're dead here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I I guess we should have countered the incubation druids. It's, it's what actually killed us. Um, I mean, to be fair, that was just one of the situations they had two counter spells. It's tough. You know. 
tough life. But on the counter spells, they needed to beat us. So, but, you know, that's life. It happens. Just got to pick it up and move forward. I still don't think that the deck is, uh, or that, um, I think that was a bad matchup. I think we just needed to play it a little bit differently. I should have countered the, the Incubation Drew when it first came down. But, not sure. All right, we're on the play here. Ugh, missing our green sources, but we have land, so we'll keep it again. Hmm. All right, enters tapped, and we'll pass. Ugh, excuse me. Yep, elf, cool. Well. I'm super happy that wasn't a green source or anything. This isn't the same opponent, is it? Nope, they're on green black. What in God's name is that? Oh, that's a pain land. What the hell? Okay, then. Well, five mana. Nope, tag for two. All right. Paradise Druid resolves. Druid of the Cow resolves. All right, whatever you're moving towards, you got a ton of mana. Interesting. All right. Well, I should have played this tapped last turn because now I got to kill this thing. And now I'm left right here where I'm at, which sucks. Yeah. Hit me for four. Yikes. Spiral of the Graveyard. Hinterland Harbor here off the top, I think it'd be the perfect draw. So I can go Harbor, Tamio, pick up. Um, that's actually also not bad. Graveyard. Sure. Top that. Oh, no. Lava Coil. And we'll lava coil there. Play this tapped, and we'll pass. Hmm. Yep, to me. Play crafters, fine. Discard growth spiral here. So unfortunately, it doesn't mean I just have to go here. Next is a fate. Hope we draw into something good. Well, I didn't, but... Guess we can try hitting a lava coil. Did I whiff? Oh, we hit lava coil. Okay. Boom. We hit the lava coil. All right, ladies and gents. We are still alive in this. And I think we're picking ourselves... All right. So I think we're going to pick ourselves up a Chemist Insight next turn. Oof. Oof. Fight back. Fight back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't have anything to kill us, your opponent. Do not have anything here to kill us. All right. Reassembling Skeletons. Fine with me. Ooh, untapped pain-free land. All right, let's tick down. Let's pick up Chemist Insight. Play Reclamation. Play Insight. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, uh, this is bad. Um, what do we need to draw to try and stay alive here? Do we have to? One, two, three, four. Are we just dead? I think we're just dead here. I think we had to hit. I think we're just dead. Yeah. Well, if we would have had one more turn earlier. All right. Well, we almost got there. All right. So, cannonades. Uh, extinction. Uh, cut there, cut there, cut one of you, and I think I want to cut one of you, run it back like that, see is there any way I could have gotten to that? I guess maybe I could have picked up. No, I don't know. I don't know what I could have done differently there. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there was something. I'm not saying that that was the only line I could have taken and that was the best line, but I can't honestly think of another one off the top of my head right here. Thinking back at what we did. Only thing I think of is hopefully we didn't, I was like thinking we didn't have to, um, What's the word I'm looking for? We didn't have to uh, pick up the Chemist Insight. We could have picked up one of the other cards. But even then, I'm not sure quite where we end up. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. All right, let's uh, play first. Mulligan. Uh, if we had a second land, I'd keep this even if it was another red land, just because we have so, just because we have this. And eventually do that, but I got a mulligan again. Um. Yeah. All right. Well, if we don't draw land, we're just gonna. Try the next round. This is why I, I matches like this. Is why I think Melinda Mulligan is good. Dress, cool. Literally doesn't matter. That's another perk of this. Is a situation is where our doesn't our hand doesn't matter if we don't do, whatever they take doesn't matter because we have to draw lines. End of story. I'd probably take. Cannonade. All right, nice. Them leaving Cannonade probably means they have Wild Growth Locker and a lot of stuff like that. They just don't care about the Cannonade or a Leyline Prowler or whatever it was called. Nice. Let's see what you got, opponent. To me. Taking two. Sure. Yep. Take down. Make me discard a card. Nice. Pay the life. Attacking for two. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll let it resolve. I'll discard the chemist insight. Mm -hmm. 
C opponent. Yeah, all right. Kill the druid. We'll take two down to ten. Almost like you're gonna have to sit on not doing anything next turn. At least with this, otherwise he's not gonna really. Obviously, if he, they down tick him again, they're not doing any damage with him. Although interesting note, if they down tick him, killing him, play another, play another one, down tick that one. We will lose our entire hand. Resolves. Minus me one more time. It's got to be what it is, right? Dress me. Um, all right. Yep. Now you gotta choose. Resolves. Alright, well. Ugh. Yep, we're gonna take the two here. Flightcraft is pretty good. We are going to go ahead and Sinister Sabotage. Um, fortunately, we need something better than that. I think we're, we're probably just dead here to this, actually. No. Alright, well. They're getting us to trade in a card. Trade in him for a card. Alright. Alright. If they've been sitting on him for a while, they should have been, I think, more aggressive with him. But it's neither here nor there. Alright. Well, let's run it back for one more match here. We are, I believe we're one and two now. Um the last game wasn't much of a game though. We we mulliganed badly and you know, I mean uh, choices. But it is what it is. All right, we'll play first. I like it. This hand's fine. This is gonna leave me open for lava coil on turn two, or for uh, possibly growth spiral on turn two, as well as having mana for wilderness. Excuse me, wilderness reclamation and sabotage. And because of the nature of this deck being so combo heavy, I don't think it's necessarily right every time for us to lava coil a dork on one. Well, now nah, it sucks because clearly they are a control deck and we just drew a lava, second lava coil. So, you know how that goes. Opponent's sitting there considering what land to play, I guess. So part of playing the island there this turn, um, interesting, I love drawing dead cards, uh, part of playing the island there was it could make their decision different depending on what they think we're on, so they could be either just some kind of Azorius control here. Yep. Are they stuck on lands here too, it looks like? Nope. Just for some 
reason. Yep, all right, untap. Honestly, depending on what they do next turn, I might ex just expansion for four, or explosion for four, just to draw some new cards. Well, that sucks. He's gonna go up to five here. Yeah. All right, mission briefing. Uh, I, uh, this sucks. Guess this is fine. I guess drawing the force is okay. Yeah. I think I think we just move on to the next game. We can't really beat this Teferi now that he's on the table. Um. That's the downside of not playing Niv Mizzet is we can't beat a Teferi. We just can't beat it. I'll put that on four pretty quickly here. Yeah. Yep. Doesn't do anything because we can't cast spells. Yeah, you know, let's just go on. Let's just move on. Go to the post board games. It's not worth it. Stable stroke negates. Nibs, trim there, trim there, take one of you out, all four of you coming out, and I guess run it back like this. Um, again, we could bring in the, uh, whatchamacallits, the uh, stupid ass um, Star of Extinctions, but I don't know that that's necessarily right, I kind of like where we're at right now. So we we will see though. Um, I guess we won't see because this is game three or game two. So I I mean I could just lose and die, which uh, is sadly not outside the realm of possibility. With how our luck has been. All right, we're gonna play first here. Uh, all right, we'll keep it. Ooh, you know what? Another card that might be good in this deck? So healing might not be bad in here. Either way, I think Tamio is great for this deck. But I think... Um, are they playing in full control mode? That's a little annoying opponent. Alright, tapped land. Yeah, we're just going to probably mission briefing here, hoping to basically scry land to the top. Mm -hmm. I'm very surprised to see a counter spell here, although they could be on the read that we're digging for lands. All right, we'll keep them. Obviously, us keeping both lines on top is a pretty, or both cards on top is a pretty good sign that we wanted whatever we had, or whatever they were. Yep, tapped land, tapped land. Four mana. Tapped, and we'll pass. We could cast Wilderness Reclamation, but again, I'm pretty sure we're just casting into a counter spell at this point. Uh, plus, if they're just blue-eye control, they're probably playing Devious Cover-Up. As well as their three-mana counter spells. And I just don't like the idea of running um, our uh, stuff into their curved-out counter spells. Alright, no land. They have to discard. We're going to play this Tapped. That gives us six mana, which is nice. Uh, we draw another land. We could play Wilderness Reclamation, holding up Sinister Sabotage. Yep, discarding a card again. 
What did they discard this time? Hmm. Lazatope plating. Uh, we're just gonna pass. Um, I don't want to run into a counter spell. Oh, you know what? Oh, they could have a board wipe. I don't want to throw a niv into a board wipe. And by the fact that they, have, they didn't play the Lazatope plating, they're obviously holding up a counter spell. Prism Realm. Oof. Okay, that's that's a good reason not to just uh, run out Niv Mizzet. Actually, Prison Realm. I didn't even think about that. That's a good reason not to just run out of Counterspell. All right, if they go to discard again, I mean they're, we're in the same boat as them. Kefnet, eh? Eh? Stable stroke. Perfect. Wilderness Reclamation. I don't know why I put a stop at the end of the turn. Oh, I do know why. So that our opponent never gets another turn again. Oh, that's not the right card. So let's, there is that. Yep. Go to my turn. Bet your bottom dollar, son. Um, yeah, we're, uh, well, it didn't stop at our end step anyway, but, them only having four mana means they're, they're done. We have two counter spells a turn here, um, plus expansion explosion next turn. Yep. They got stuck on mana there, to be fair, so, you know. But I'm also not entirely sure they were playing their best... Stuff. I don't. Maybe because we saw a mass, we do want the stars. <sighs> All right. No expansion. Ex <sighs> well, I don't want to have you. Let's let's take out two mission briefing, I guess. Because mission briefing, awkwardly enough, there wasn't even that good because the lands were already on top. But obviously there could have been a situation where, where surveilling was like scrying and we needed to get the lands off the top. So it really could go either way. Um, but who knows? We'll have to, have to see this game. Uh... We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <sighs> yeah, we'll uh, we'll have to see here what we got. I like blue light control. I like the idea of blue light control, but I just don't think it's worth it to play blue white. See, now we are one land away from this hand being pretty decent. <sighs> one, two, one, two, two, three, three. Ah, uh, all right. We'll keep it. We'll 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 keep it. We'll have faith that we're gonna draw our lands. So we either need to draw a negate or a land off top. Alright, well... It's a playable card, so... Oh, I shouldn't have played that. Okay, so we did draw a land, but it's not a land we wanted. Um, in this situation, it's a fairy. This turn is not the end of the game. It's just not going to be that good of a thing for us. Come on, blue land. I mean, our opponent could be leg legitimately considering countering Gross Spiral, but I don't know. My mentality against Gross Spiral is that it's fine, they can ramp up because we're going to counter whatever they're playing next. Alright, well, drawing Chemist Insights is pretty much the worst we could have done. Oh, you know, besides just drawing another non-blue source. 
This is the kind of situation now where Teferi could, could absolutely crush us. Alright, well, they're short on lands again and had no Teferi. And we drew our red land, or our other blue land, which is perfect. Now we're online. Definitely going to be able to start playing the way we want to play here. Um, I'm not going to end a turn Chemist Insight here. I'm just going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, we're going to wait till next turn to start getting more cards on the table. Yeah, they're up to 8 cards here. Search for his Kanta. Oh, boy. Alright, yeah, let's sabotage that. Hoping to find another sabotage. Shinon Harbor is not a sabotage. Um, is it crazy that I actually want to go Tamio? Down tick, pick back up Sinister Sabotage. I feel like that's kind of crazy. But at the same time, not that crazy. Prison Realm? You got it, dude. Take my girl home with you. Put her in prison. That's fine. Yep. Um, tapped. That was bad. I guess I should have played it on tap so I could have... Um, Tamio and I gotta play Tamio or Rao this turn. But you know what I'm actually gonna do? Take that two life I saved and I'm gonna use it towards flashing back inside off of the steam vents. Right, that's pretty good. Now we are firmly in a situation where I feel very comfortable with the way things are going. Um, depending on what our opponent does next turn, we can put both Ral and Tamio into play. And if they... Oh my god, opponent. Alright, let's... Ral. Dovin's Veto. Right. I mean, we can't do anything about it. It resolves. Got another Dovin's Veto? Nope. Just destroy my enchantment. Alright, a little bit of a blowout here. But, we are gonna... Oh, oh I picked Tenderland Harbor. Why? Ah. Uh, obviously, I wanted to pick up the Wilderness Reclamation. I just misclicked. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alrighty then. So copy target instant or sorcery, then return it to its owner's hand. You may choose new targets. Hmm. Alright, expansion. Wait, what? Oh. Copy my own star. Yep, blow that up. That means now your Narset's reversal has no targets. Oh, I guess I should activate Tamio before I tried doing that in the first place. Whatever. It's fine. Yep, insights. 
bet your ass I'm playing knocking you off that damn white source. You can bet your ass. Actually, let's Nexus. That would leave me up with two mana. Nah, screw it. No white mana. I'm very aware they're gonna play Kefnet next turn. Eh, maybe it, I guess you know. I guess maybe with that being the case, maybe we should have not destroyed their white source. Yeah, I guess that was dumb. Yeah, I guess that was too aggressive. Yeah, I think it was too aggressive. Although they will tap out to play Kefnet next turn. Oh, no, they won't, but... I mean, basically... Yeah, alright. It's a good card to draw. Alright, well, let's go Chemists. Yeah, you see if I would have waited until this turn. I mean, that's a pretty good one. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. All right. I forgot that expansion has to be converted mana cost four or less to copy it. Not gonna lie. Blue. Resolve. Um, don't wanna try Nexus. No, I'm not going to try a Nexus. One, two, three, four. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's expansion. Screw it, let's discard. Breeding pool. Alright. Yep, for me. So you got Dovin's Veto. If it's any counter spell besides Veto, we're golden. Nope. One, two, three, four. All right, well, unfortunately, I do not have... enough mana to do anything with the Explosion. Yeah, go to my next turn. Oh, please, expansion. Oh, please, chemist insight. Oh, you can't. What am I talking about? Come on, opponent. What do you got? All right, well, the gates. Not exactly what I was hoping for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, let's. So if I go explosion, that'd be four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Okay, explosion for four. I guess it's explosion for five. Just try and kill the Kefnet. Assuming they're going to tuck it. 
We already played a land this turn. Let's see. Are we through all of our planeswalkers? No. But we are through. We have almost all of our expansion explosions gone for. Uh, we got discard three cards. So one, two, three. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I, I could have played this game much better than I have been, but just haven't been. <laughs> All right, we're gonna sit back. I wanna, we, we're gonna have to combo kill him here. This, I think, um, I don't think we're gonna have to, but I think that's what we're gonna go with here. They're on 18. They're going to draw Kefnet next turn. I mean, we got access to a bunch of counter spells, to be honest. What's our top card looking like? Yeah, they tried to mystify it. We're not going to let that happen. We're going to definitely counter it. I don't know any of the cards in our deck. Any of the placement? Okay. Graveyard. Transform. Another land. Let's just look. What reclamations have I gone through already? Just one. My opponent sure is taking their time. Alright, Wilderness Reclamation. Not that. Alright, I mean, they have a counter spell for this that sucks. Absorb. Negate. You got a veto to follow that up with? Nope. Okay. Oh, and they're done. Yep. I mean, let's see. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that would be 14. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they would have probably been dead pretty soon. We, uh, we definitely are about to get ready to go off. All right. Well, moral of the story is the deck was a lot of is a lot of fun to play. Um, where are we at? Um, I think Tamio adds an extra level to the deck that we didn't have before. Um, don't know how great she is. Don't know how great the rest of the cards are either. But I do like them. I like Ral. I like Tamio. But I think that Niv is probably better than Ral, and that's just where we should have him. Um, we, the one time we did play Rao, I did like the fact that we could copy our spells with him. I think it's a really nice, a really cool thing to be able to copy next to Fate. But, yeah. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go and hit that like button. If you want to see more videos just like this one, go and hit the subscribe button. Uh, we, I try to release usually two, three videos, a, uh, or a video a day at least three to four times a week. Um, hopefully I'll be able to stay on my current schedule, which is going to be at least one video a day, five days a week, at least, but no guarantees. Work is crazy right now still. Um, anyway, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, it would really help me out a ton if you would share this to your different social medias, your Facebook groups, or anything, someone on Twitter, or Discord, or just text it to your, uh, magic friend, the friend, your friends that play magic too. I really appreciate it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time.